if we look at the R Walmart campaign, which began in, in 2010, which was well-funded by the United Food and Commercial Workers to the tune of 20 million in the last year of the campaign, this was a campaign that relied heavily on social media and uh, public relations, uh, what they called a militant minority, but what ended up being strikes of two or three workers at stores of 300. And it ultimately failed. It, it succeeded some in shaping a narrative around Walmart, but it was not a real worker organizing program. Bernie Sanders comes along, inspires a generation of young people to take up socialism uh, and take up the question of the working class. And now in the Amazon situation, which is an equally large and challenging company where we're dealing with a blank slate organizing situation, we have nothing in this company. We have no union base. And yet we have these young cadres who are working at Amazon and devoting their lives to organizing Amazon. And that combination of the left and labor is what ultimately is going to rebuild our base in this country. We cannot be a labor movement if we only represent 7% of the private sector. Uh, so this Amazon thing, it, it represents a change, a change in how we do organizing because we have socialist comrades working in those facilities. You cannot organize a, a corporate giant like Walmart or Amazon as a union without cadres. That's the story of the CIO. That will be the story of our own rebirth.